Oh no. <laughs> hey, CBC Music people. I'm Hawksley Workman, and I'm about to play Jam or Not a Jam. Yeah, I love this song. It's just one little hook lined up after another. There's no verse, there's no chorus. This is a big jam, very inventive. It's a gym song. This is a power ballad from the 80s, from the 90s. Big Def Leppard, big Brian Adams. Big rock and roll. Nothing new to see here, folks. It's a, it's a seven out of 10 jam. Ah, this is hot. This is a hard genre of music to live in because so much of the living on the vanguard of this kind of music is like having an ability to look into the future and kind of know where the production is going. And so, this is a jam. Yeah, I mean, this is sneaker shop music. Music made by young people for young people. Like, I can smell the room it was written in. I can see the five people that came up with the kid lyrics. I can't deal with the same sounding voice. This is a voice that now lives in pop music, this affectation, which, again, I don't know why you'd want to try to sing like somebody else, but does it sound like everything else? Yeah. Is that the, the, is that the way you win the game these days? Yes. So it's a jam. It sounds like everything else. No. You could probably play Donovan Woods and I'd probably flip out. If I was a good love. If I was a good love. That's a jam. Donovan Woods is a jam. That kid is genetically predisposed to making only jams. Beautiful vocal, thoughtful lyrics, iconic sounding voice, the sound of somebody who's going to be around a long time. J-A-M.